Hey guys, hope you're having a good week and today I have a very useful quick tip uh, which is for uh, advanced or beginner level and that is to do with um, fixing uh, polygon holes on models that you've probably downloaded from other sources. So I've uh, gone down to um, the 3D warehouse for SketchUp and I've downloaded this pot which I think is ideal for one of my scenes. But as I've imported in, into Cinema 4D, I notice, I'm noticing that there are quite a few holes in there. In fact, if I'd simply imported this model, the way I would uh, close all these holes would be to go to my polygon selection and then right clicking on my model and then going to close polygon hole and I can just go and close these polygons one by one. But as you can see, this is likely to take ages on this model to close up all these holes. So what you can do and what I found very useful is you can use something called the Veronoid um, modifier. So if you go to the MoGraph up here, MoGraph tools, you'll find something called Veronoid fracture. So I'm going to add this into my scene and then I'm going to put my vars into my Veronoid fracture modifier. And this is basically used to um, to fracture objects, but we're going to use this to close our polygon hole. So I'm going to select my Voronoi fracture. Then I'm going to go down to my sources tab and then down here, I'm going to select the point generator, which is used to fracture my object, but I don't need that. I just want to close my hole. So I'm going to delete the point generator. So I'm coming back to my um, original model. And then uh, the next tab I'm going to go to is the object tab and in the object tab all I need to do is check the optimize and close holes so if I'm going to check that and I'm going to wait and that's it boom all my holes are magically closed on this model and that is how you quickly close down um, polygon holes on objects um, that you've either downloaded or that you've mistakenly um, modeled for your scenes and then what you can do is then go to your Verno Factor object. If you press C on the keyboard to convert it down to an object and now you've got your VARs as a separate object, which is nice and clean. Um, I hope this uh, tutorial has been useful to you and I will catch you in the next video.